Today, I'm on the Carnival Liberty. I'm gonna do a full walkthrough ship tour. I hope you enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna take this tour deck by deck. You're gonna love it. Let's start off right here in the pool area. Here midship is the main pool area, and you're gonna find plenty of seating, many different types of options to be able to dine and get a drink and a few hot tubs. So let's go ahead and take a look at the main pool. It's right here in the exact center of the ship. There are loungers all around the pool. And if you go a deck up, there's more loungers so you can sit up closer to the water and right in the sun. If you look up, there's that big screen which plays movies under the stars, sporting events, and other activities such as concerts. There are a couple of hot tubs opposite of the screen on both sides. You're also gonna find this really cool type of seating up here. It's like amphitheater type seating. So you just go up a deck, go up a deck, go up a deck, and you'll find chairs as soon as you go up each stair. Now over here to the right is the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. Order a specialty margarita and get the tequila of your choice. They have many different types of tequilas and the super mixologist is gonna make it exactly to your liking. Now another thing that I like is that right across the pool area is the Red Frog Rum Bar. They make their own beer on board most carnival ships, so make sure you try one of those drafts. Now, if you'd like a specialty rum drink, I highly recommend that you tell the mixologist exactly what you want because they are gonna hook you up. Over here is the Blue Iguana Cantina. Order a wide variety of Mexican foods such as tacos, burritos, taco salad, nachos. You can grab your tacos or your burritos, head on over to the salsa bar and load it up. You can also get a wide variety of hot sauces here. It is a huge favorite among Carnival Cruisers, so come on over and check it out. The great thing is, is that it is 100% complimentary, so it is included in your cruise fare. Over here is Guy's Burger Joint. This is also another favorite among Carnival Cruisers. Enjoy freshly cooked burgers made to your liking. You can order it many different ways. Make sure you try their sauce. Get one of the O-rings added onto your hamburger. You're gonna love it. Here's the cool thing about the burgers is that after you grab it, you can head on over to the toppings bar and load it up with tomatoes, salad, onions, ketchup, mustard, and other types of sauce. Heading toward the buffet area, you're gonna go buy swirls. All you can eat soft serve ice cream. The buffet is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and it is 100% complimentary. Folks, keep in mind that if you like the Liberty of the Seas, make sure you give me a call. You're gonna wanna book with me. And there's an excellent reason why. I provide discounted rates. That is correct. We're gonna give you a better price than booking directly with Carnival Cruise Line. It is amazing and our clients love it. A lot of our clients call in and they ask us, Jason, how can you do this? Well, it's actually Carnival that allows us to do it for you. They provide us with these amazing promotions so that I can make videos like this and offer it to you. So here's what you're gonna wanna do to get the discount. You're gonna wanna call that number right there on the screen. You see, these are unpublished rates, so they are not posted on any website. So for you to get the maximum savings possible, you're gonna have to call in. An experienced agent is gonna help you out, get you booked, and provide you with that discount. Now upstairs from the buffet area is the barbecue place. Come on over here, head on up the stairs. Not a lot of people know about it. Grab your favorite barbecue, it's all you can eat, and then head on down to the coffee bar and grab yourself an espresso, a macchiato, or maybe even a cappuccino. Let's head on to the back of the ship. Back here, you're gonna find a few things. The Seafood Shack, a really cool pool bar, the pool and pizza pirate. This is the Seafood Shack where you can enjoy delicious, fresh seafood a la carte. You can get a whole lobster, crab legs, or just maybe some simple oysters. One of my favorite places, which is right next to the Seafood Shack, is Pizza Pirate. And it's my favorite for a good reason. Not only do they have excellent pizza, but they're open late. So when the buffet is closed and you can't find any food, just head on to Pizza Pirate. Right over here is the bar. It's right next to the pool and right in front of Pizza Pirate. Right here is the pool. It's all the way in the back of the ship. It's in a solarium setting. So this solarium is versatile. It can either be closed or open depending on the weather. At the back of the pool are a couple of hot tubs. And on either side of the pool are 
loungers. Now, keep in mind, on a sunny day, the solarium will be open. It's only closed right now because there was a slight drizzle. Which is really cool because during the tour, they actually opened it up because the sun came out. Around the corner from the pool area is the Diamond Steakhouse. This is part of the specialty dining. And the way the specialty dining works is that there is an additional chart. However, you do not have to dine here. There are plenty of complimentary options on board, such as the main dining room, the buffet area, Pizza Pirate, and a few other venues. Now, if you are interested in specialty, check this out. I placed a link down below the description of the video. So it will tell you all of the dining options, which is specialty, which is complimentary, and the pricing. Now over here back in the pool area, if we just go up from the main pool area, which is midship, you're going to find another small pool and a water slide. Now this is not the best water slide that I've ever seen, but it does the trick. So this pool area is a little bit more elevated than the main pool area, which is pretty cool because if you look straight ahead, you can see the screen perfectly so you can catch events and sports activities from over here. You can also enjoy the area with the slide, especially if you have kids. They're going to want to go on the slide a couple of times, so this might be a cool area to hang out in. Now, over here, you're going to go right into the jogging track, and you can go around and just go in circles if you like, if you need to get some exercise. Over here is the basketball court and mini golf. Folks, I want you to keep in mind that when you're watching the tour of this ship, that you understand that this is an older ship. But with cruise ships, there's always a trade-off. Because it's a little bit older, guess what you're going to get if you book on this ship? An excellent price. So you can do a seven-day Caribbean cruise on this ship, and the price that you're going to pay is phenomenal. So here's what I want you to do. I'm going to put sailings of this ship down below the description of the video and other carnival ships. I want you to check them out and I want you to check out the pricing on the website. But then after that, I want you to give me a call so that way I can give you a better price. It just makes sense. Now, here are the kids areas. In the kids areas, I'm going to make a recommendation. First of all, you have to abide by the rules. So the age groups are the age groups. You cannot put a eight-year-old into a teenage activity group. It's They're just not going to let you do it. But one thing that you are going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and sign up the first day of the cruise. So that way your kids are ready to go. Let's take a look at the Serenity Adult Retreat. Now this area is all the way at the front of the ship. There are comfortable seats all around the entire area. There is a hot tub. There are amazing views. It's really cool on a sea day because you can just check out the front of the ship and where you are going. Let's head on down to deck five. This is the theater. On carnival ships, you can enjoy many different types of entertainment here. You can enjoy game shows, magicians, musicals, concerts. Sometimes even the comedians will perform here. Here is a tip. Make sure you download the carnival app. If you're not the one that booked the cruise and you are a guest, make sure you download it as soon as you get on board. You're gonna to wanna to check out all the activities. Now, if we go through here, heading toward the back of the ship, we're gonna go through all of the shops. The cool thing about the shops, for example, if you wanna buy a watch and you are at sea, it is duty free. Right here is the atrium. It's the heart of the ship. Over here, right around the corner is the sky box. You can catch all your favorite sporting events right here. Now, if it is a serious championship game get here early because it is gonna fill up because you're not the only sports fan on board over here is the casino you can enjoy slots card games roulette perhaps you can also play texas hold'em now on this ship the texas hold'em is digital so there's not an actual dealer you can also enjoy tournaments in blackjack and slots those are a lot of fun if you've never gotten into a blackjack tournament try it out because not only are you going to have a blast but you can also win a lot of money now over here is the casino bar this is one of the most popular bars on the ship 
Keep in mind that if you have nothing to do and someone is upstairs that you're waiting on, come to the casino bar because it's a lot of fun seeing everybody gamble while you're having a drink. Now over here is the internet cafe. If you have trouble logging in from your cabin, which you can do easily, then you can come on over here. This is cafe bar. If you want to enjoy a nice treat, coffee, shake, or a hot chocolate, head on over here. It's a nice spot to grab a treat and a drink. Right next to the cafe bar is Club O2. This is the older teen area. This is for ages 15 to 17. Now, keep in mind that in the activities areas, they offer many different things to do, and they're planned out pretty well. So for example, here in the teen area, there might be uh, a karaoke night, or there might be some other type of activity, such as a scavenger hunt. Right next to O2 is the arcade. Keep in mind, you do not need coins to play these games. You're just going to use your key card. Folks, when you do your online check-in, at that point, you can decide whether you want your kids to be able to use their card to be able to charge or not. Some folks do, some folks don't. Over here is hot and cool. This is the nightclub. Take a look at that dance floor. It's awesome. Could you imagine when the live music is going on or the DJ is playing his tunes? Everybody's getting their groove on right here. Now, keep in mind that the club usually opens a little bit later at night. Now, if you are interested in a drinking packet, which means unlimited drinks, make sure you ask us about it when you call in. If you don't have a drinking package, you're going to have to pay for each drink. Speaking of drinks, an excellent place to grab one is Alchemy Bar. Here, the bartender will make you the perfect mixed drink based on exactly what you want. Just make your request and he'll hook you up. Over here is the Piano Bar. At night, this place really gets jamming. People like to sit all around the piano here while they make their request. And usually pretty much everybody in this venue sings along to each song. The cool thing about the Piano Bar is that it's one of the bars that's open late. Do you like jazz? If you do, head on into the Stage Bar. Now, even though it's considered a jazz bar, there are other types of entertainment that you can enjoy here. First, it's just a really cool spot to grab a drink. Second, there are many different types of music that you can enjoy, not just jazz. Let's take a look at Victoria Lounge. Here you can also enjoy a variety of entertainment. You can enjoy Punchliners Comedy Club, karaoke, live music, and art auctions. Check it out, if you like karaoke, make sure you get here just a little bit early so you can sign up. That list fills up pretty quickly. Here you're gonna find plenty of places to sit down, relax, and enjoy each other's company. There are tables, couches, and plenty of chairs. Over here is Pixels. This is where you can find the pictures that the photographers took of you while you were on board. When they take your picture, they're gonna ask you for their card. Just go ahead and give it to them. They're not gonna charge you. It's just so you can see it later. Right here is the atrium. We're gonna go past that and go into the library. Folks, if you got some work to do, the library is a perfect spot. Over here is Circle C. This is part of the teen area. It's for the younger teens from 12 to 14. You can see the area is really cool and they like it a lot. They can play video games and participate in many different activities. Over here is the Olympian restaurant. This is part of the main dining. The way the main dining works is that there are two dining times. There is an early or a late time. Or you can pick the time where you can dine anytime from 5.30 to most likely around nine o'clock, depending on the itinerary and the cruise ship. The cool thing about the main dining room is that it is complimentary. So it is 100% included in your cruise fare, which is excellent because it's nice when you can dine with no extra charge. Over here is the conference room. So folks, if you are on a business trip and the conference is on board, this is most likely where you will have your meetings. Over here is the cigar bar. Many ships have cigar bars, but this one is a little bit different than the others. First of all, it's humongous. It has its own bar, and while you're enjoying your cigar, you can listen to live music. So let's go ahead and head toward the back of the ship. We're actually going to go all the way to the back of the ship and take a look at another main dining venue. So this is also complimentary. It's included in your cruise fare. 
So which dining room are you going to go to? Here's what's going to happen. When you get on board, they're going to give you a key card. The name of the restaurant that you're supposed to be dining in will be written on that key card, as well as the dining time. Remember folks, my favorite dining time is my time dining where I can go in any time I want that the restaurant's open, but that's up to you. Some like early, some like late. Let's head to the heart of the ship. This is the atrium. There's a bar right here in the center. This is a meetup spot for pretty much everybody. It's really cool. There's a nice bar with stools that you can sit at and have a drink, or you can sit at one of the tables. You can enjoy live music here, and the live music is continuous. Sometimes it'll be a band, another times it'll be a DJ, and they also have violinists that come in, which are excellent. The area is humongous and just a nice fun area to hang out in. You can see that the other decks also converge right here. Now over here is guest services. If you have any questions, just come on over. They will help you out. It's right here on the side of the atrium. You're also gonna find the shore excursions desk right here. I recommend you book your shore excursion online, but if you don't, you can come on over here. This is the spa. Now this is a full spa and meta spa with a salon. If you wanna come in and use any of the services, we recommend that you make a reservation. Of course, you can just walk in anytime you like, but it's always better to make a reservation. Now here you're gonna find a steam room, a sauna. You're also gonna find an area that you can work out in. And the gym is amazing. There are Stairmasters, free weights, treadmills, you can also get into a yoga class, a spin class. My recommendation is that you come in on the first day of the cruise and see what classes they have. Thank you for joining me on the cruise. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Jason. Remember to get the best rate guaranteed. Call the number right there on your screen. Have a wonderful day.